Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Boston, president of QuickBooks Made Easy, wanting to share with you something that I learned today about those of you that are using QuickBooks Online, uh, this software right here, which is amazing. Okay, now it's not really even time for my quick tip. That's supposed to happen once a month, but this is so cool, and I learned it today. If you are using QuickBooks Online, you need to listen up because this is going to blow your mind. Nobody knows about this, but it's a tip a trick that I found. Now I'm going to tell you what the trick is about and some of you will understand it and the rest of you I'll explain it what we're trying to do and then I'll show you how to do it. But anyway, the tip is, are you ready? How to batch remove the billable status off of expenses. How to batch remove the billable checkbox off of expenses that are marked as billable when you don't want them marked as billable. How to batch remove it, okay, rather than doing it one at a time. Now, some of you already know what I'm talking about in terms of the problem, and you're like, oh my God, you can batch remove, ah! I'll show you in a second. The rest of you, let me show you what I mean. So when you're entering expenses, a check, a bill, an expenditure, and QuickBooks Online, there's this billable column here. And what happens is, is when you put a name in the customer field, and a lot of times this says donor or member, client just depends upon how you set up your program nonprofits usually put we put grants here names of grantors or maybe in some cases projects or funds but anyway the point is is that when you put a name in this field it automatically in quickbooks online makes a checkbox and it makes it as billable and the reason why it does that is because it thinks that later on you might want to invoice the customer for the expense this was something that was set up for construction contractors, okay? So for instance, let's say later on you want to invoice um, the amalgamated way. Uh, if I go over here and do an invoice and I pick the amalgamated way, all of the expenses that have been marked as billable, and the default is that they're marked as billable, um, are show, uh, show right here on the right and you can add them. This is a feature that nonprofits don't use for the most part. We don't usually invoice our grantors, okay? Um, and even if we do, if we've moved from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online, there are hundreds of transactions that may have been marked as billable and you don't want them marked as billable anymore because they show up here and then you just kind of have to ignore that. The other thing that's really interesting is that if you ever try to inactivate the customer or the account that has a transaction that was marked as billable, it won't let you. It'll just time out, it won't let you. And you're like, why won't it let me inactivate? Well, it's because it's been used in a transaction that was marked as billable. And so it really behooves you to be able to batch remove this checkbox. We could do it individually. You could just click this and click it again and then click save. Of course, you'd have to do it for every one. It'd be a nightmare, okay? It would take forever, all right? Because you might have hundreds or thousands of these. So for years, people have asked me, how do I batch uncheck the billable and I'm like I don't think you can until today okay I found out this morning this is just amazing so check this out I'm gonna go to the home page here's what you do um, just go to the home page it really doesn't matter where you are in QuickBooks and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a change to the web address okay the URL so it's gonna say app.qbo.intuit.com forward slash app forward slash and then whatever page you're in has words on it. I'm gonna click on the end of the words and I'm gonna backspace to get rid of that last word. So when you're at uh, the part that says app.qbo.intuit.com forward slash app um, forward slash, what you're gonna do is you're gonna manually type manage billable expenses mine already appeared because I was entering it right before I started recording um, I'm sorry it's manage billable expense so if you just remove remove everything after the this last hash mark after the app and then just type manage billable expense and press enter, it's going to open up a window that you can't get to any other way. Here's the window. Look at this. You pick a date, any date here, I'd do it as of today. 
what is this? 07 25 2023. Any transaction before that date, any expense that's been marked as billable and hasn't been billed yet, it'll uncheck the box for you. Now, if it's already been billed, it's going to leave it alone. So don't worry about that. It's also any uh, unbilled time, it's not going to change. But any expenses that you've marked as billable, well, you didn't mark it, QuickBooks did, you can un remove that check mark globally for all of them. It could be thousands on or before this date. I'm going to click save. Uh, oh, the date has to be prior to today. Okay. Uh, it's actually the 24th today. Sorry. Uh, I lied. <laughs> You'll see it on the 25th. All right, so I'm going to click save, and it's done. So just to kind of prove it to you, if I go back here, you see these boxes are checked, but if I refresh the screen so you can look at this check again, uh, it's gone, okay? And if I go to the invoice uh, and I just refresh the screen, uh, you do it from up here, and I click the amalgamated way, uh, no slidey thing comes out anymore because nothing is marked as billable. See? It's beautiful. So I would advise doing this, okay? It's really cool. I would also advise if you have any investment accounts in your nonprofit, you may have seen me talk about this a little bit earlier. Here's an investment account at Fidelity and you're struggling with how to read these things, how to enter the transactions related to them, including the unrealized gains and donations you got into the account and the advisor fees and everything. We've got a whole session that's coming up on that. Uh, if you go to QuickBooks Made Easy and you go to courses and training and you go to webinars, uh, and you scroll down here, uh, on August the 17th, we're doing it just for those who, of you that are using QuickBooks online. Um, it's an hour and a half. We'll play music. It'll be fun. Um, but it covers, I'm just double clicking on it. This is everything that it covers, how to enter dividends, interest, capital gains, purchases, transfers. And I did this because so many of my clients don't understand how to use this. And I'm assuming no one else does either, like how to actually read these stupid investment reports and enter the stuff correctly and be able to report it to your board. You can even reconcile them. But anyway, so it's 119 normally. There should be a um, code somewhere for $30 off that you're looking at right now. Uh, and then um, you'll be able to go. So sign up. It's going to be great. Uh, and that's it. I'll see you there.